Crispy in St. Peter's. What a name! You were on my mind. BBC Radio Sheffield with me, Dana Luke. All things 60s. Um, and we're taking your uh, texts on 07786 205454 and your emails on diana.luke at bbc.co.uk. Now, Barry, you've got another TV programme that you want to talk about now. Well, Don Lang and his Frantic Five disappeared after about 10 months in 1957, but in 1959... Another programme came onto the television and it ran until 1967, the best part of eight years out of this, and this was Jukebox Jury. Uh, <laughs> when we look back, it was a really bizarre programme because there was there were four people. There was a... Shall we say it was introduced by... Who was it introduced by? I'm sure somebody will tell us. OK. Uh, but there was a panel there of Pete Murray and a few more people. Alma Cogan, the singer... People can remember Alma Cogan and uh, Susan Strength. She was on uh, presenter of Magpie. Uh, people who were small at that time will remember. And what they used to do, they'd sit there and they'd have a big audience and they'd play records and it was either a hit with a ring of a bell yeah. or it was a miss. Went, ah, ah. And it was unbelievable, some of the comparisons that they oh, came ridiculous. out with. ridiculous, yeah. I mean, I saw something on YouTube the other day, and it was absolutely crazy, because they go, no, no, we don't like this. And it was like, what? Exactly. How can you possibly not like that? And they were very, very formal. Oh, but that's why it was quite bizarre. I yeah. thought it was quite bizarre, but it was always a panel of four... Uh, with the one exception when they had all the Rolling Stones. What they used to do, you see, after a period of time, they'd change the panel and they brought the Rolling Stones in. And there were 10,000 requests for tickets when people <gasps> knew that the Stones were turning up. Wow. Um, the Beatles, of course, that was fine. There were four of them could sit at the table. Yeah. And uh, so they used to bring... After a while, they used to bring the stars in because that would keep the show going. But in 1967, it faded away. But didn't... Is, am I right in saying that... Because I, I didn't see it because I wasn't in the country at the time. But isn't it um, right that they sometimes will say no to that particular artist and they bring the actual artist out? That's right. Oh, yeah. How amazing. I mean, how embarrassing for <laughs> the artist, but also for the panel. Of course, of course. But they never knew who was there. Worthy. And, uh, yeah. yeah, can you imagine being there behind the scenes and the scene? What a load of rubbish. Yeah. Thing, you know? It's not going to do anything. Walk out. And then they come out and shake hands and say, well, thank you for yeah. that. Very kind. Yeah. But, of course, what invariably happened was that the fans bought the record and it went to number one. Yeah. So the, the panel was shut down in flames but it was just as I say I think looking back it was bizarre so the question is who introduced jukebox jury that's what we want to know let's see who's in first and if you are texting in can you let us know who you are and where you're actually texting in from as well that's 07786 20 54 54 07786 20 54 54 or you can email it in diana.luke at bbc.co.uk that's diana.luke at bbc.co.uk time for some soul sensations now <laughs> 